Item number, SCP-7300. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-7300 is contained within the Site-438 pond. In events of extreme weather, an object locker with a grow light has been prepared. SCP-7300 currently meets with Dr. Joanna Goodman weekly, both for mental health screenings and physical inspection. Description. SCP-7300 is a freshwater phytoplankton. Footnote 1. Pleurosigma helioplankton. While SCP-7300 is able to photosynthesize energy, it can also ingest organic matter. SCP-7300 is also capable of speech. Footnote 2. Fluent in both English and Swedish. At average human decibel levels and has substantial knowledge of human society. Discovery. SCP-7300 was discovered by Wilson's Wildlife Solutions during a routine blue-green algae test in the Stotts Lake of Eugene, Oregon, where it was reportedly sobbing and begging for forgiveness. In accordance with the Boring Agreement, SCP-7300 was promptly transferred to Site-438. Following a brief observation period, an interview was conducted by Dr. Wexler. Begin log. Hey, ah, uh, fuck, man. God. Uh, thanks for moving me to a room with windows. I mean, artificial light is nice and all, but nothing quite replaces the real thing. But maybe shitty light is just my destiny, because I'm a shitty- SCP-7300, please stay on track. I've brought you here to answer some questions, and hopefully we can figure out what happened to you, okay? That's the thing. I think I was always like this. A shitty fucking mite. I'm going to have to ask that you remain calm. I sympathize with your situation, I really do. I got turned into a mosquito once, and let me tell you, it wasn't very fun. But I got turned back. We can help you. I... okay. Fuck. Thank you. To start off, what all do you remember? Um, a lot. My memories are kind of hazy. I remember being born, and feeling like something very wrong was happening. Couldn't quite place it at first, it just felt like... Like a square peg in a round hole, you know? Then I realized I was actually a guy peg in an algae hole. Plankton hole, actually. Uh, I'm a fucking plankton? Like, like Spongebob? I mean, uh, I guess you're a part of the species that inspired the character. Man, I should build a robot. Robot wife. Fuck yeah. Sure. So, uh, you mentioned Spongebob. Do you have any other memories of human society? Yeah, tons of them. I watched so much cable TV. A and I know how to do taxes, like, like, really well. I'm thinking I was an accountant. I had a wife, and kids, and a kidney stone, and an ex-wife. Turns out divorce papers are harder to fill out than Form W-9s. Way, way harder. I don't remember their names. We lived by a river. Had to move in with my parents later. Then I must have died. That's, uh, that's about it. That's... that's a lot. Um, but you're saying that you were once a human, correct? I was, I think. I don't know what god I pissed off for this to happen, but I've been thinking, and it's really not that bad. It's, like, I don't have to eat. I mean, I can, but... But? I just want to know if this is, like, a curse, or some kind of cosmic level fuck-up, or like... God. I don't know. I'm sorry. Shit. It's okay. You've given me a lot of information to go off of. We can give you a happy life here for now. There's a nice pond near here. Maybe I can see if we can put you there? I... I guess... ponds are nice. Do you have frogs there? Ducks? Yeah, a duck recently laid eggs. We're expecting little chicks to pop up any day now. Oh my god. Really? Really. That's... Uh, that's... I don't really know what to say. But uh, I just... I've got one more worry. What is it? If the pond isn't to your liking, we can try and- No, no, the pond sounds great. Wonderful, even. It's just, if this was some kind of cosmic fuck-up, where like, my guy peg got put into an algae hole, then what happened to the algae peg that got put into a guy hole? That's... Uh, we don't even know if that's what happened. No, no, I've got a feeling that is what's happened. 
I'm a victim here. My body is very much my concern, because it's mine. You're drawing unfounded conclusions and- There's some fucked up baby out there that's eating light and has like, zero brain function. Plankton don't think. I've tried talking to them, to my brothers and sisters. They really don't. They get eaten up easily, and they don't even think to just swim away. Maybe I should just embrace my position in the food chain and- Calm down. Please, just take a deep, uh, just a deep photosynthesis. Do you want to go see the pond? Do I? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I fucking love ponds. Great. Uh, just out the window. You can actually see it from here. Oh, fuck. That's a good pond. Shit, dude. It really is, huh? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, man. You know what? I, I take it back. The pond, or... I love being a plankton. End log. As of May 1st, 2022, SCP-7300's morale ratings are at an all-time high. As such, investigations into the origins of SCP-7300 have been placed on low priority indefinitely. SCP-7300 psychologist Dr. Goodman expressed support for this action, stating the following. In this case, doing anything more is unnecessary, and perhaps even harmful. SCP-7300's mental state practically crashes every single interview. Right now, it's finally doing better than ever before. The best we can do is give it a happy life, and we're doing just that currently. If you've spoken with SCP-7300, you can tell how it feels. It just really loves being a plankton. That's it. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, and Doomsday LLC, Prince, and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.